Hello and welcome. Orion back again with another video. Today's gonna be well, yeah, you'll you'll just see. So today I acquired a Samsung Galaxy S Tab three seven inch with its OtterBox case, nice and protective, and oh yeah. So long story short, the person that had this wasn't using the case and they dropped it and it cracked and now it won't turn on. It was working for a short amount of time and then it stopped working, they said. I've done some preliminary testing and it's true it doesn't turn on, but I think I have an idea as to why it's not wanting to turn on. So let me just take its little case off and I'll get my iFixit kit out with my spudger and we'll start into this. So I just removed the top part of the shell from the bottom part. This is an OtterBox Defender case. It's really nice because it has a built-in uh, screen protector. So this is going to be a little bit difficult to work on because of the broken glass. I'm going to set up an area that's not going to get covered in glass and hope for the best. And maybe see if I can open this. Uh, I'll have to look at an iFixit guide. So I finally got the back off of it, or the front off of the back. And now I'm working on the logic board. So the logic board is affixed by a couple of screws. Um, I th yeah, there we go, now it's loose. So you just remove the battery first, and then you ah, get it stuck. And you remove the battery. This is not by any means a tutorial, this is just me videotaping it. You remove this, then you have to remove all these little connectors. Connecting it, so pop open this guy, and this guy here. And let's turn the light on. And let's turn that on so we can actually see something. Okay, that works. And this here, carefully remove this. I think that's the camera cable. This is the something cable. And I only got a little bit of broken glass in my hand. That these two off, and then remove the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack connector. Then we have what looks like the sleep wake volume logic board connector here. Undo that guy, and this guy should come right up. Being careful not to snag it on the little connectors. So here's the sky. Um, here's where the memory card slot is, and then the SIM card slot. Set this up to the side. And I am mainly trying to figure out why it doesn't want to power on. And maybe figure out what went wrong. And clearly it being dropped did not help this situation, but maybe there's something that got jostled. So I'll work on that and see what I can get. If not, then I'll just kind of give it to the e-waste. So here's the cracked screen. And this... I 
Yeah, I... The person said it would turn... I probably got fried. The person said it did turn on for a little bit, and then they went to turn it off, and it wouldn't turn back on. So... That leads me to believe that something got fried, probably. Which might just make this whole thing not worthwhile. Let's have to do more investigation. Here's the unfortunate conclusion to the attempt <clears throat> to repair this. So after getting glass stuck in my hand, and finally managing to remove the top two parts, I discovered that the main logic board, going from here all the way around where the battery connects, this whole unit, is fried. Not all, some of it may not be fried, but the main DC power in jack, the doubles of the USB port, is completely and utterly fried. And I would either have to do micro soldering to repair it, not gonna happen, or I'd have to repair, I'd have to um, buy that part. That part, I haven't looked at the prices, but I don't feel like investing money in this because I could just go and get a cheap Android tablet for like $60. This is already almost three years old, and whatever's out there now will be worlds better. So I maybe I'll sell the case, the otter box. I haven't decided yet. This has been Zesty Panda with another video. If you like this, thumbs it up. If you didn't, thumbs it down. Leave a comment down below. Favorite, subscribe, and uh, have a nice day.